it's all about comfort there's no point being uncomfortable there's zero use in that and some people might think well you're not going to be able to be relaxed and uncomfortable at the same time well actually it's, it's possible to get deeply relaxed in a kind of a weird position and then afterwards you know realise that you've maybe been lying on your shoulder or you're, you know you have a bit of a crick in your neck or something like that and I've seen that in action so I know it's possible but of course you can't fall asleep really unless you're relaxed but then relaxation takes different paths because you know you can feel relaxed in a busy environment you know you can sit in a train station waiting for a train maybe a busy train station and still feel relaxed within yourself even though there's lots of stimulation occurring especially like visual and uh, auditory stimulation then there's that sense of relaxation when Maybe you're laying in a bath or standing in a shower. See, I don't have a shower. I have a bath in where I live. I do have a, like a shower um, thing, you know, so I could stand in a bath and have a shower. But I fell out. <laughs> I actually fell out of the bath and broke my broke my wrist. So since then I've kind of stuck to baths. <laughs> it's kind of a funny story, but it's not. But there you go, that's just my uh, me. It's just an accident, it's it's easy to happen. Um it's rare though, it's very rare. It's the first time in my life. So what I like, I don't know about you, is that sensation of the water spraying on the top of your head you know massaging your scalp that to me is one of the most relaxing uh, things in the world because I know we get told that the nerve endings are very much in our feet in our toes in our hands Reflexology. You know, I learned reflexology when I was younger, and you stimulate the different parts of the foot, which has a correlation to the different parts of your body, and you can actually feel the different parts of your body when you press on certain parts of your foot. Now with the water. spraying down on to the top of your head I find that that stimulates a relaxation in the entire body it's not just relaxation but actually all over body pleasure like a real natural lovely pleasurable feeling especially like across the face and the upper body and the skin so there's different ways to feel relaxed and of course in those situations relaxation is fine on its own you don't want to fall asleep when you're in the bath or having a shower 
necessarily, you know, especially not in a shower. But it's nice to experience that sense of relaxation. lighter kind of in a way your your brain would be that suitcase full of stuff and you take stuff out you make your mind and your brain lighter As less goes on, there's less thinking, less processing. It's kind of like when a thought actually arises. As if it's at the top of a slide, a deep slide, and it just falls over the edge and slides away. And there's less time given to each thought. And every time another thought appears, So slides down, and the thought behind it pushes it over the edge, so it slides away. Until it gets to the point where the thoughts start to get lazy, because they're climbing up this big ladder to get your attention, but when they actually get to the top, attention and they just slide all the way back down to the bottom again and they start to get fed up they start to think ah, what's the point what's the point in climbing up this ladder just to be ignored so those thoughts stop climbing that ladder There's no longer anything to slide down. And that feeling within you in that front
all your physical feelings are left inside that building as you just Absolutely nothing, but at the same time, kind of heavy. Physical 